morning and welcome to the next episode of Safari Snippets. This morning we're going to be going out and looking at something a little bit closer to my heart and that's birds. Um, birding I think takes the safari just to a little bit of a different level. Um, appreciating sometimes the smaller and the bigger things in the same category. Let's go see what we can find. We've managed to find three of our largest hornbill species in the area. These are the ground hornbill. These are really, really endangered, or should I actually say vulnerable bird species in our area. So we're very, very fortunate to be able to, to have them here and find them. Um, they're actually extremely ferocious um, hunters, um, able to kill mongoose and snakes and even other birds as well as um, stealing their eggs. I've even heard of them pulling tortoises out of their shells even which is which is quite incredible If I go back to the word being vulnerable as a species these guys are un unfortunately breed very very poorly I'm um, only really successfully raising one egg every every nine to ten years uh, We're in the Classeri we're actually very fortunate and we have a really good project um, which is helping to create an, an nesting boxes for them in the area um, and this is helping them to raise chicks more frequently um, and in the area here they're actually raising chicks every two or three years um, which is a big improvement for it and will probably in the long run help um, to turn it from being a vulnerable species um, to a little bit better in numbers. We've come across some yellow-billed hornbills. They're quite famous for being the Zazu out of the Lion King movie, so always popular with our guests and a fairly common bird, but still really, really cool. One of my favorite stories about these birds is to do with the mutualistic um, relationship they have with the dwarf mongoose. Now, the dwarf mongoose we talked a little bit, or Nick talked a little bit about previously, um, and as the dwarf mongoose is hunting and foraging for um, you know scorpions and, and arthropods and insects in the ground the hornbill will stay close and pick up the insects and and arthropods that scuttle out and get away um, so they get a little bit of an extra meal um, or an easy meal and in return for the dwarf mongoose they will act as a, a predator a w warning system so they will even alarm for certain aerial predators and things which are predators of the mongoose and not the hornbills themselves. So um, it's a very unique relationship in that regard. Um, and it works so well that the hornbills will actually follow the mongoose home at night and they'll wait there and in the morning they'll call to wake the mongoose up because they want to get their breakfast. And if the, uh, if the hornbill isn't there, they've actually seen that the, the mongoose will actually rise later in the morning. Um, so no, just a very cool little interaction between two different species which um, I really, I don't know, I think it's awesome. We've managed to find an African harrier hawk here behind me. Um, he's busy scourging through um, looking for something to feed on. Um, he's actually got double jointed legs which help him to, to put his legs inside and dig around and try and pull out a squirrel or a bush baby um, or maybe even this little bird, the drongo, that we can see maybe his, his eggs or his chicks. But what I like is actually their old name. Their old name is Gymnogene. Um, which Jimno refers to in the adaptation of the bare chin that he has um, where he's able to actually stick his head into the cavities and, and try and pull out the, the chicks. Um, but a behavior that we, we are seeing at the moment is the drongo is coming down and, and sort of a mobbing and attacking the, 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 the harrier hawk. 
um, and this is just showing that something with a small heart um, can have lots of power um, and is not scared of something so big that could potentially eat it um, but just showing that just a little bit of nitpicking and carrying on at it will eventually push him off which is what it's done in, in this case here. Okay, well, thanks for joining us for our birding uh, safari today. Um, I never used to be a birder myself, and I sort of fell in love with birding from all the interesting facts and relationships um, that you can find in, in the bird world. Um, and I think it's really cool, really interesting, and it brings, like Nick said, it brings something else to a safari, um, helps you understand the bush a little bit more. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. Yeah, 100%. Definitely my my personal favorite thing, like I said, to do. I thoroughly enjoyed my morning. Um, and then, not really a reminder this time, but just stay tuned. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be announcing the winner of the Hot Air Balloon Safari. And we're really excited to see who is the winner of that. Cheers, guys. Thank you.